So the RV leaves Bandon Dunes and we make our way to Napa Valley. Maybe my favorite spot on this entire trip. And we're able to taste some of these wines that we've been experiencing on the East Coast. And we actually get to go to the winery, which just makes it that much more romantic and just ties everything together from Camus, Stag's Leap, Opus One, Dariush, Del Dotto, these amazing wineries. We have some tastings and it's just great reminder. This is why I love good wine. So if you haven't been to Napa Valley, you got to check it out. We hang out there for a few days, a couple drinks, a couple glasses of wine. And we make our way to Monterey Peninsula. Let's go. Pebble Beach. All right, here we go. Links at Spanish Bay. <sighs> Hefty penny to pay, play this place. I can't wait to see it right on the water. But apparently they don't have an ATM in that location. You have to walk down here a couple minutes and hit this lobby. They already put 155 on my account on top of the green suites for the caddy fee. And then they want another 75 to 100. So potentially 250 for the caddy. I'm going to say that's a record um, and no driving range. That's what you want to do. I want to play a $700 round and don't hit the ball. <laughs> Let's go. Spanish. Uh, here's the back tee box at Links at Spanish Bay as a lefty. This might be just as scary as Marion. Yeah, you don't want to shoot one left or no, let's not think about that. Legend. 40 years in service here. Yes, sir. I was officially most nervous I've ever been on a first tee. All this stuff down the left, cameras going, playing from the tip tee box. Number one most nervous tee shot of all time. Yeah, one of the most nervous tee shots I've ever experienced in my entire life. As a lefty, I had the houses up the left side. I had the head pro, Rich Cosandy, uh, come out and want to see my swing because I had the, the camera set up. And then I have three guys that I just met on the first tee box as I'm setting up the tripod. It's an awkward hello. 60 seconds later, I got to fire the tee shot. So, you know, a combination of those three things in my head, you know, just made it a very nerving tee shot. But you're able to pull from those experiences. That's one that I'm able to be able to pull from and go, I was that nervous and I hit the fairway. So these are the three guys that I get matched up with. And uh, I got a little par putt here. Doesn't go in. Sloppy bogey start. And uh, that trend continues through the next couple holes here. And we march forward to the fifth hole, which is the number one handicap. This tee shot that heads back towards the Pacific is going to require all of your attention. Yeah, so far after four, I got a nice balls in the fairway here at uh, number five. So many of these holes are sitting right on the Pacific. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 starts to go back in, and then we'll see the Pacific again through 14. So my type of course as advertised, lots of holes on the water so far. A lot of deer here too, really cool. Yeah, so here we go. We're, we're in the fifth uh, hole here on down the right side. I start out with four bogeys. This is a tough shot. I got a long iron in my hand, a five iron. I leave it short left, but I'm gonna tell you something. You wanna know my kryptonite? You wanna take my lunch money? It's simple, no driving range. If I don't have a chance to warm up, hit irons, hit drivers, mess around with my short game, it's easy money, it's over. And that's exactly what happened here. Now you can go to the Pebble Beach driving range, which I, I should have done, but I, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's the back tee box on number, what is this, six? 17 mile highway right there. Wow. Yep, this is pretty special. Yeah, I mean, this, this Spanish Bay routinely ranks in Golf Digest top 100 golf courses, man. It, it is, it's a special place you can see here. All right, just put one down the middle on six here. Great hole with the 17 mile drive right in the background. I almost feel like I'm trying to just 
keep away the big number until I find something in my swing. But Connor here, it's nice enough to give me this one dollar. Bringing us some luck. Bringing today. us some luck. Maybe we'll get a hole in one yep. chip in, a couple yep. of eagles, birdies. So good things coming. Let's go. Yeah, that was my Connor caddy. He gives me the lucky coin. We're needed it, right? We're five holes in, we're five over. It's kind of like this like swing that you know, how do I just not get myself in trouble and not make any big numbers, but nothing good's gonna happen. But I uh, hit a good drive there, hit a little uh, gap wedge to the front part of this green, and then uh, two putt for a par, and uh, it feels like we're winning. We got our first par after six holes. Connor was saying there's some good, good waves right there. Yep. Right. Fun little surf spot right at Spanish Bay. Um, other sides of Silomar too, which is not great right now, but hopefully we'll get some swell soon. But you were also saying some sharks, some shark, what are they yeah. called? Yeah. Shark, yeah. Sharks great, right there? Great white sharks around here. Great They've whites been, right there? Yeah. A lot of juveniles this time of year. And Damn, man. I don't know. Not, not good, but we're staying safe still. Be safe. Yeah. Here we go. This is the signature hole at Spanish Bay. Eighth hole, uh, par three. I got an eight iron in my hand, playing about 160 yards. You got 17 mile drive over the right side, the Pacific Ocean. What do you guys think I'd do? Pull one right, which I've been pretty much doing the whole round. Nice little, I've short sided myself on this bunker shot. Put a nice move on it. I got a little putt for par here in the signature hole and the putt doesn't go. And that's okay, but uh, this hole is really where things get serious here at Spanish Bay. And when you come to Monterey Peninsula and you play Spanish Bay, you gotta take a drive on 17 mile drive. It's amazing. This right here is Monterey Peninsula Country Club. Doesn't have anything to do with Spanish Bay, Pebble Beach, Spyglass, but it's a private country club. If you can find a way to get on, change your day and make it happen. Because this is special. This is a par three. At one point, they had a whole bunch of water that came in there and it was underwater and then they redid it. And as I take the camera around the corner here, there's a little back tee box. You know the tips, you know tips, right? He likes back tee boxes. This is a back tee box that I want to play with. I can't wait to play Monterey Peninsula. I recently had a friend that played Monterey Peninsula and Cypress Point, which is what you're seeing right now. This is Cypress Point driving range and then you'll see the sign. He prefers Monterey Peninsula over Cypress Point. You don't get that opinion too often, so I can't wait to experience it for myself to determine which one I like better, but Cypress is routinely always named up there with Pebble Beach and Augusta. So uh, take that drive on 17 mile drive. We're on to the 13th hole here. Uh, this is like a kidney bean shaped green. I got a little eight iron in my hand. I finally learned my lesson to play a little draw starts up the left and finishes in the middle of the green on the right side. You can't miss this green short, right, long. You just gotta hit a good iron shot here. And uh, this putt that I, that I put a nice little move on this just clips the hole, almost make birdie, but you'll take three here on 13 any day. And then 14, everything in Spanish Bay starts to head back towards the Pacific. 14, 15, 16, 17, a little bit of 18, you're like on the water as advertised. And uh, 14's par five. I put a nice little move on this. By the way, this course is designed, Spanish Bay is designed by Robert Trent Jones Jr. and Tom Watson, but there's a Forbes article that says Gil Hance is coming in here to do a redesign. And anytime Gil Hance puts his fingers on something, right? I see him all this, the native areas and the bunkering that he kind of redoes, because it's already a great layout. It's already in a very special location. When he comes in here, it's gonna be special. So I just missed that little birdie putt on, on 14 and we're on to 16 here. All right, look at the, look at this. How could you not be happy playing the 16th hole at Spanish Bay? Par three from the tips playing 200. I sling a five iron on here. So if you know the 16th, the middle of the green here, there's a spine. It could go left or right. Now I find the left side of the spine when the hole was, the pin is actually back right. So I got a very challenging putt coming up here. Yeah, I put a decent move on the first putt, but besides me being um, way inside and flipping my hands because there's no driving range, look at this putt. This is a dog shit putt. This is just a bad performance up through 16 right now. It's just no good. So I'm like, I gotta finish strong. And we get to 17. 17 is a golf hole, like a golfer's golf hole from the back tee. You can barely see the, fe uh, the fairway. My caddy, uh, Connor told me where to go and I hit my line perfectly. So it's a very, very good tee shot on 17. The second shot on 17 is blind. So I got the drone flying above, the pressure's on. 
I got to hit a good shot and I finally deliver and knock one just maybe an inch or two short and uh, got a nice little uphill look at birdie here that almost goes in. It, 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 it tried to make its way in there. So listen, if you're standing back on the tee box on 17, I'll tell you right now, par is a great number. So I strike one down here on the 18th, right down the middle of the 18th fairway, and here we go. Maybe it's a supersonic. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm, I've fallen good shot like so many yeah. times. I didn't even acknowledge it. Group behind me said hi to it. It's a weird vibe. It's yeah. Weird. yeah. A low energy vibe. <laughs> I don't think it's personal. Uh, it's a low frequency. Yeah, it's definitely not personal. One guy's not playing good. The other guy just, just met each other. Yeah. But the frequency is low. The scale for one is definitely a three. We got Pacific back here. We did find the fairway on this whole world. Absolutely. I love this course. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hold on, hold on. Let's swing around. Can you see this in the back? Pacific. Yeah, shout out to Connor, man. He was a great, great caddy. And uh, yeah, I'm not so sure these guys were big fans of me. I don't know. Maybe they weigh in on this video and they're like, man, I had a good time, but they never asked for who I was or what my channel was. And uh, it was awkwardness, but good dudes. You never know who you're going to get in this type of situation. So this par five heads back towards the clubhouse. I had a driver off the tee, and then I hit a little rescue wood towards the 150. I got a little nine iron in that I leave short right. And this is important, man. I want to finish this round with a par. So this little chip and this little tap in for a par is the way that I like to end rounds of golf. And there's another episode. The links at Spanish Bay, not our best, but this is something special. Like, subscribe. See you next time. See you on the next video, guys. Total vibe. Total scene. With the sun setting in the Pacific. When you're done the round, call your significant other. Get your boys, man. Get some food. Sit down on the patio in Spanish Bay and enjoy yourself. Because it's like, a, you know, it's a special place. Well worth the money. Well worth the trip. And I'll see you in the next video on Spyglass. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope you're enjoying these videos right now. I'm on the exclusively public RV golf trip, 50 days coast to coast, East Coast, the West Coast, back to East Coast. I'm gonna see some amazing public golf courses that have an exclusive feel to them. And at the end of this RV golf trip, I'm gonna give you the best of the best, the trip that you need to make happen. No matter what happens, you need to make this trip happen. If you love golf the way I love golf, you need to make it happen. So stay tuned for the big reveal at the end of this RV golf trip. Appreciate the support.